Yo guys, it's Rishok Gaming here, and welcome to another Battlefield video. And today I just thought that I'd do a um, <coughs> bit of a talky episode, because, well, I've not really done one of them yet on this channel. And, well, I just thought I'd shove up this gameplay in the background, which is me on Operation Locker with the LA-2502, which is a China Rising DLC gun. And a lot of you are probably wondering, what? Why have you got that? Well, if you're playing on consoles, then you will wonder that, because it's not yet released on the console. But it's not even released on PC. But they did leak the, um, they accidentally released the China Rising weapons, and that was a mistake on their part. So, but everyone's unlocked them, I've unlocked all of them now, I think. Apart from, there might be one more left. But I've got some sweet LA L96 gameplay that I will be putting up soon as a review. So, lots to look forward to. The um, the gun itself, it performs pretty well. It's like similar to the 416, M416, because it's similar damage, similar rate of fire. But I just prefer it as a weapon. I think it's fun to use. It's a British assault rifle, which is always good, because I'm from England, of course. So, yeah, that's, that's what makes that pretty cool. And... The um, gameplay itself, it does take a while to get started, as you'll notice. There's some bits, I just decided to put the whole thing in uncut, just just because why not? But it takes a while to get started, you see I end up, I'm in mid-table at the moment, but there'll be a slight twist towards the end, as, well, why would I just post a random gameplay where I finish mid-table? Why would I do that? I wouldn't. So, yeah, that's probably a bit of a spoiler. Uh, um, I think I'm using the, if you're wondering, the impact grenades, I think. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I am. Because they're very useful. Oh, I've made a mistake here, I shouldn't have gone for both of them, I don't think. Did I? No, I got away with it in the end, but still. I think in the end I get shot by a guy lying down under here. Oh no, maybe not. Oh, that must have been a different clip. But... Yeah, I'm really loving this game so far. It's amazing. And I definitely recommend getting it. Definitely. So, yeah, um, what's going to come? It's going to be twice a week. There will be a weapon review, hopefully. And once a week, a map review. And, yeah, that's... There will be some, also, just stuff like this coming up as well. Maybe in some other games. But, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, but anyway, as you can see now, I am starting to work my way up the table up to second. And, to be honest, we didn't get too many outstanding players on our team this time. But, <coughs> I still managed to... I think we, in the end, did we get the victory? I can't remember. Pretty sure we did. I don't think I would have chose it if we didn't. But yeah, I find it really, really fun game to play at the moment. And I definitely recommend it. The net code is... It's kind of fixed, but it's kind of not. It's not really much that I can do with it. So... That's... Well, they can do more about it. The net code itself, it's better. But I'm still getting shot around corners. And uh, um, the crashes, they hardly ever happen anymore. Uh, the servers never crash. So overall, it's a well, well-rounded game. Just a few bugs to iron out, stuff like the sound bug, but they are addressing that. So yeah, hopefully within a few weeks we'll see it. A great, great game. So yeah, I think I'm going to end my talking now. You can just watch the rest of the game. So, yep, as always, guys, it's Fisher Gaming here, and I'll see you next time.